What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. I know. Standing by. Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. in there is intact. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her back. Spectral stains lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. Maybe she had no choice. Looks like her patients deserted her. Intriguing. I wonder why.
God, you're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, may the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a knocking, well, we were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Thick skin ask you to join. Nicholas spoke to her for me. She knew my work. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. Did you leave a lover behind? If that's not too. It is too impertinent a question, thank you very much. And the answer is no. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start up. Unfixable? She was to wed, and I opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I've no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. Whatever the ghost wanted, it made quite the mess. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox! You'll infect your wife and both of you will die! So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me! Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. She took that personally. This could be useful. Someone threw a book through the window. Our ghost's modus operandi, it seems. Someone has an axe to grind. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. We're done here. Time to take a look outside. Our flying book is a medical tome, Paracelsus. The dose makes the poison. The answer is here somewhere. Sister. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. He can fall. Clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. 
In the picture, you seem the... Well, now that's not very polite. You are... I'm Antea Duarte. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, me lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. Why do you stay to haunt a... Because, Millet. But she was... A physician, she. Her physics didn't save me. A doctor, she. She doctored me and good. You think she didn't try hard? I stand before you, my lady fair. You were very... I've earned it, my lady fair. I'm charming. Educated, handsome, kind, attentive to your every need. Like who? Why, like Eleanor J, or Madame Cresswell, Penny Ryder, or Penny Top, French Jenny, Greek Nell, Tall Sally. Oh, Geoffrey is clever. They will all say Geoffrey is kind. Geoffrey is so very. You like to be... Don't you, my lady fair? I love to be loved. I miss it. To be alone. The portrait. It's very good. It was a wedding gift from Evelyn. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity? Yeah, dear Felicity. My wife... Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity, and would not be de... Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure... What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is n... If the pox was nothing, then what? Why, it was love. I had fevers. Sunlight would hurt my head. I ha then one day, I could no longer speak. My legs refused to work. My muscles rebelled at the last. There was a pain, like someone reached into my chest and crushed my heart. I did not like that either. Well, I'm no expert, but that doesn't sound like the great pox to me. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. When your symptoms worsened, did Evelyn change your... No. With what did she treat your... Salts and powders. Powders and salts. Too much sulfur rots the brain. No, the others... Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the... That's it. Powdered quicksilver. Mercury salts. And Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait. What? A poisoning indeed. And not by carelessness. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law-to-be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her. Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now he's downright nasty. All right. Mistress Fitcher's in danger. Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She did it to save her sister from syphilis. I understand that. What would you have done to save your sister from the pox? I'd have talked to her betrothed. Scared them off if I could. Joffrey didn't find everyone scary. His mistake.
Joffrey Rawlings, stand away. Mind your own business, me lady fair. You're in its sights, Greg. Why do I get the feeling that this is a dog? Did we miss a few? They're feeding off their own rage. It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord, I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was your patient. Syphilis, I believe. Yes. But this was years ago. Fearing he would give your sister the pox, did you poison him with Quicksilver? Is he here in search of revenge? Yes. I stole a few months of Joffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sister's. You mistook yourself for God. Though you'd sworn an oath to protect life, you delivered death. I played God, for God did nothing! To save one you loved, you do the same. The good lady doctor has a point. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Joffrey Rawlings, your vices endangered your life and that of your bride. For that, you are poisoned. Understandably, you're angry. Now the truth is known. Your anger has served its purpose. Release it. Why should I? I died so young. I died betrayed. You lived, you died. Be at peace with it. Peace? Yes, peace. As peaceful as a picture. She may be amenable. No guarantees. A am I going to heaven? Will Felicity meet me there? Will she forgive me? No guarantees there either, friend. Leave forever! I thought he cared for nothing. I was wrong. He lived life selfishly, but there was love in him. Strangely, the peace you gave him has set me free. 
Enjoy it, Madam Doctor, as best you can. <laughs>